it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and today in, and for my returning subscribers. Hi everybody. How are you guys? I know it's been a while since I filmed a video last and I can totally explain where I've been. I've been just taking a break trying to focus on me and just kind of like have my own space so I can get back on my own two feet because I was kind of going through a lot a couple weeks ago like for instance I was having a hard time with work well I'm actually taking a hiatus from work I quit at first but then I took a hiatus from work for a while until the pandemic dies down because I was trying to work during the pandemic it was not working out now because there were too many confusing rules to follow and it wasn't just it just really was not working out for me and it just like it just wasn't working and I decided to take a hiatus till the pandemic died down and stuff and then I'm gonna go back to work work probably once the pandemic dies down um, so I just needed some personal space to kind of like get back on my own two feet and everything I'm sure everybody understands if you've been through the same problem and stuff like if you're having a hard time with something it's good to take a break for a while then you can get back on your own two feet but anyway, now I'm much better. I'm back and making YouTube videos. I'm really excited for this one because this is a top 10 tips, top 11 tips for YouTube beginners. Suddenly I feel like the nostalgic critic because he says top 11 all the time. So anyway, so here's some tips I came up with for like a beginner YouTuber just to be aware of what you can do, what happens on YouTube and how you can fix the problem and everything or if you cause a problem on YouTube and how you can deal with it and stuff like that. So I'm going to get started and if anybody has any YouTube tips I've missed, please let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to get started. So number one on my list would have to be if you make a video, watch it before you put it before putting it on YouTube. So this is super important, just in case you accident. <coughs> Excuse me. Just in case you accidentally catch someone on camera, and they um don't want to be on YouTube. Tube delete the video and remake it. I know it's probably probably like a pain for some people, but that's a super important role because YouTube is very public. Like even if you have your video private, people can still see it. So it's very important to be cautious of who is going to come into your video or not. And it's always good to ask them first. First, it's like a very, um, very, very polite um, way uh, it's just like a way of being considerate for people too. For two, and also make sure there's no cussing and to check and make sure you don't have anything like personal you don't want on YouTube because again, YouTube's pretty public. It, public, even if the video is private, people can still see certain things. <coughs> Excuse me. Number two on my list would have to be if you get a copyright notice. Remove it as soon as possible before YouTube does. This is a super important thing because like. It's important that you remove your YouTube videos as soon as possible that are copyright infringement because if YouTube does it, then you can get in pretty big trouble. I've never, I've only had that happen to me once when I did my movie tag and then YouTube removed my movie tag, be, tag and gave me a three month YouTube probation. I'm sure you guys all know that story. Story, uh, story, and um, I forgot to remove the video and they removed it right up. What, like I think an hour after I posted it and stuff posted it well I went to remove the video as soon as I got the notice but that but it turned out YouTube removed it before I could even remove it move it so that is a super important thing because you don't want to have too many copyright notices on YouTube give me one second sorry um just something happened and anyway so um you don't want to have too many copyright notices or else YouTube can literally terminate you. you because you guys also have to remember although YouTube is a free site people still can um, people still can go after you for taking some of their work and then using it as your own you never want to really use other people's work as your own that's not okay okay so you need to be extremely careful when you're making like a certain video like a movie spoof or this or that because YouTube can block it and then or remove it permanently they are uploading or another good tip is never upload movies to YouTube I see people do this all the time and people get their videos removed all the time due to copyright infringement 
Number three on my list would have to be be careful of what you post. Now this is super important and I know some people are usually very cautious about what they post. Like I know I'm very cautious about what I post. post but it's always good to be careful of what you post because you don't want to post anything that has your address, your house number, your city you live in, or any personal information on YouTube because people can still see it even if it's private. You never want to post any personal information on YouTube, like anything, like you don't want anyone to see. See, so it's always be good to be careful. Number four on my list would be don't cuss on YouTube. I know a lot of people cuss. There's some people on YouTube who actually will cuss, but honestly, I never cuss on YouTube because I know it's a public um, site and stuff like that. But the, is that, but that, and a lot of that, and I don't feel comfortable cussing on a public site. Side because I know there's kids watching and stuff. Like even if you have like a job as a teacher, it's never good to cuss on YouTube because you could get, get in trouble for that. Because again, everybody needs to remember that YouTube is public. Public, everyone can see it, especially like your boss or something. So it's like never good to um, cuss on YouTube, especially because there's kids watching YouTube. There's a lot of little kids who watch YouTube. Number five on my list, if you get a copyright probation, don't make any videos of singing or or with other people's content. So this is a good safety tip. I A lot of you guys know this story, or some of you may not, but I'm going to tell it anyway. So a couple years ago, I got a three-month YouTube probation. It wasn't really a copyright no, right infringement probation. It was like a three-month YouTube probation for going against the community guidelines because I made a movie tag tag and um, somebody must have got offended and flagged my video as inappropriate and so what I, I had to so the YouTube removed my video before a guy could even and I got a copy and I got a three month um, probation it wasn't a copyright probation to be fairly honest it was a um, community guidelines probation so I got a three month community guidelines probation and and I had to um, wait three months to keep my channel safe to make um, singing videos, videos and stuff. Uh, and I thought it was a copyright probation because I thought it said copyright probation in my um, YouTube thingy. thingy. Well, it was just actually a um, community guidelines probation. I had no copyright in that video. So yeah, you guys also need to be careful. Not It's good to be important. Don't make any singing videos or things with other people's content if you already have a copyright probation because strike one is a warning. Strike two, you can get your videos taken away. And strike three, you can get banned from YouTube. That is not a good thing. You never want to get banned from YouTube. YouTube. It is a really great site where you can watch uh, videos and stuff, but everybody also has to remember they need to be careful of what they post because they can probably get a probation or they can get a couple copyright strikes. And if they have too many, then you get banned for life. So it's always good to be careful, not careful when you're uploading someone else's content because you got to make sure you're not taking ownership for that person's content. Please be mindful. Number six on my list would have to be don't do movie commentaries, especially on Disney. Now, I've never done a movie commentary, but I've seen people do them so many times on YouTube. A lot of people used to do them quite a lot on YouTube. I really enjoyed them. They were actually really funny, and I really enjoyed them. But people were... But Disney and other movie companies were going after people for uploading their content, despite the fact their voices were, were over it. Over it, it was still their work they were using using and people and a lot of people I've noticed have gotten in trouble with that um, with YouTube for that like a lot of people had to take a lot of their videos down close their accounts and yada 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 so many people have been getting in trouble with YouTube due to their um, due to their um, due to them using their content and um, sorry I'm having a brain fade and um, uploading them despite the fact their voice is over it so it's never good so you never want to do movie commentaries because YouTube goes after you if you do movie commentaries I'm sure a lot of you guys know that if you've had a commentary channel and you did commentaries on movies I don't know about cartoon commentaries but um I think cartoon commentaries are okay I don't really know I've never done a cart commentary on a movie or a cartoon but I know I never want to now that I've seen people get their work removed due to copyright infringement 
Number seven on our list, you have to be careful when using someone else's content. So this is a very important thing. I've seen a lot of people, this happen to a lot of people where they use content from TV shows, content from movies, and this and that. And they, especially if they say they don't own them, they're, you're still... So just so you guys know, especially if you say you don't own the content or all the rights go to this company, you're still using someone else's work. Work. Not That's not always going to get you out of... Um, getting flagged for copyright, to be honest. So it's like, if you say you don't own the work or all the rights go to the company, that still is not gonna get you out of using someone else's content. You just need to be careful. That does work for some people, but it doesn't always work with a lot of people, just so you know. It's companies still can get after you for using your other people's content. So it's always important to be super careful when you're using content from like other people's work. <laughs> Number um, eight on my list had to be mark your videos safe for kids or not. So this is super important. YouTube just started doing this last year. I'm sure all you guys know this, that YouTube has been making um, people mark their videos safe for kids and stuff, which is kind of a good thing because there are a lot of children on who watch YouTube and they probably could be watching something they probably shouldn't be even be watching. Watching like. I'm not going to say what it is, but um, they probably shouldn't be have, be watching something they shouldn't be watching and they don't even know what it is. It is because it's always a good to make sure it's safe for kids and stuff like that because um, cause there's, not a, there's a lot of kids who watch YouTube and they probably could be watching something that's probably not appropriate for their age age and stuff. So it's always good to mark if your videos are good for kids to watch or not because then kids know what's safe for them. them. And I'm glad they make that because like then they can like block it just in case they're not old enough for it or require the age, do the age requirements, which I think is great. Number um, nine is on my list. After, if you catch someone on camera by accident, ask them before before posting the video. So I know there's a lot of, sometimes this is what happens to me quite a lot is some of my friends or my family members will walk in front of my camera or behind my camera while I'm filming and um, I'll go, I'll go, sorry, do you want to be on YouTube or not? And they're like, oh, I don't mind being on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. So I know there's a lot of people who don't mind being on YouTube. Like sometimes my mom will pop behind my camera sometimes times and I'll ask her are you okay with being on YouTube and she goes sure yeah it's like always good to ask if you accidentally catch someone on camera just ask them first before going putting them on YouTube because not a lot of people want to be on YouTube and stuff and if they don't want to be on YouTube delete the video and redo it I know it's probably kind of annoying but it's just important to be considerate for other people Number 10 on my list had to be make sure your filming spot has good lighting. So a lot of you guys know if you watch like my older videos, you know I used to go film at my desk. So I'm going to walk over to my desk really quick. So technically this is not the spot I used to film at my desk. But um, I used to film over here a lot, but I had, did not like the lighting. I used to film this way, but I didn't really like the lighting. So I think because I thought it was a little bit too bright. So I moved over there, which, we, which I'll move back over right now. I moved over here because the lighting was not the best because it was over near the window and too close to the window and sometimes my wind when I'm too close to my window it doesn't have the best of lighting like lighting so it's like always good to make sure you're filming in a spot that has really really good lighting number 10, 11 on my list had to be if your video gets taken down after it was removed don't re-upload it so this is super important i've seen people do this quite a few times like they'll upload a video it'll be up for a couple of years then they get deleted and then they'll re-upload the video later but then the video gets deleted again that's not really a good thing because you can get your channel taken away from you because of that, because you're uploading another per, because sometimes you're probably uploading another person's content and stuff. Well, sometimes if you're using, so, well, if it's taken down by YouTube, it's just never reposted after it was taken down because you can get in trouble for it still. It's like, you don't want to do the same video that you got taken down down by YouTube because you can get in trouble for it because that's kind of all either considered copyright infringement or flagged as inappropriate. So you can refilm the video, but it's just don't we upload the same exact video that you uploaded that was taken down. You can get in really big trouble for that. That is just important to be 
safe. So those are my top 11 tips for YouTube beginners. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize this video was so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!